Welcome to the Book of Who on Offshoot Comics. I'm your host Natasha, the Not So Black Widow. Today we're going to be talking about the Sonic Screwdriver, so let's get started. The Sonic Screwdriver is as old as Doctor Who itself. Most of the Doctors have carried one, and it's one of the icons of Doctor Who, along with the Doctor himself and, of course, the TARDIS. The version of the Sonic Screwdriver I'm holding is the version that the 12th Doctor was using. He's currently traded in for Sonic sunglasses, which are presumably gonna go away at some point and we're gonna get the Sonic Screwdriver back. My best guess is that we'll probably get a redesign of the Sonic Screwdriver when that happens. The technology of the sonic screwdriver is from the Doctor's home planet Gallifrey, but the screwdriver itself seems to have been designed by the Doctor. We've also seen other sonic devices throughout the Doctor Who run, such as Sarah Jane's sonic lipstick. As you can see, the sonic screwdriver first appeared on screen with the second Doctor and took a break during the sixth Doctor's run. You can also see that the sonic screwdrivers changed throughout the years. Originally, it was mostly used just to open doors and to fry circuitry, but as time's gone on, it's had a series of upgrades. We've seen increasingly creative uses for the sonic screwdriver over the years. Nowadays, it can hack computers, it can blow things up, my personal favourite. It can start fires, it even has medical functions. Like most things in Doctor Who, the only explanation for how that we're going to get is hand-wavy science. But if anyone thinks they can understand how a sonic screwdriver could heal a wound, please do tell me below in the comments. One thing we do know about the sonic screwdriver from the show is that it has many different settings, it's not just a point and shoot kind of tool. But even with its hundreds of settings, the sonic screwdriver does have some limitations. For example, it doesn't work on wood. I know, I don't understand either. And it doesn't work on what's called a deadlock seal. So regarding the behind the scenes of the sonic screwdriver, it was written out of the show for a while because it was causing writing difficulties. If the sonic can do so many things, it's hard to get the doctor into certain adventures. Nowadays we have the deadlock seal, which they use as a plot device for when they don't want the sonic screwdriver to work. On the show they actually use a toy like this for the sonic screwdriver. So in this episode we've learned a little bit about what the sonic screwdriver can and can't do, what its background is in the show, and also what's going on behind the scenes. If there's anything else in the Doctor Who universe you'd like to learn about, please leave a comment below. This has been the Book of Who on Offshoot Comics. I'm your host Natasha. Please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, am I good? Mm -hmm. The tech...